So, I finally managed it. The, uh, we've got all the uh, six of them around the edge now. The, uh, I've been puzzling it through all day. I've had to get them in there without uh, having to drill and tap it. Now, uh, what I've done is I've put the spacer back in, in the centre, as you can see. And I've reused the holes that we drilled around the edges. And I've just wedged, if you can see here, a screw head in there. So those are all facing outwards. And just put a washer on the end. Like that. And a little nut. And now we've done that all the way around. Now uh, it's, uh, the clearance, it comes out a little bit further than I'd have liked it to. But uh, we've got it all on there now anyway. So uh, we can only get our coil so far up to the magnet, which is the, uh, the width of the washer and the nut and a little bit of thread. So uh, but I'm sure we can uh, grind that down later. So if need be. But, uh, it's got a nice bit of weight behind it now, which should be good. And uh, if I can just give it a little spin. So the bearings seem to be working nice with it. See, that's just like a little spin off in. It's still continuing to go. I might uh, solder up the uh, circuit later uh, and just use it with uh, my original two coil one. That's great. Thanks for watching.